this is Peter from Ad Shoppers, and I am the director of growth here. And this week's new feature is going to be attribution toggles. Now, I realize that this might not be the most interesting feature, at least going by the name of it, but it's definitely something that is powerful, and it's going to be a big part of our behavioral targeting app, which most of our clients use. So it's going to have a big impact on not just the way that we track rev revenue attribution, but also in the things that we can do with behavioral targeting. It's actually going to open up the possibility to more campaigns that we can run and power for you guys. So to give you the background on this, the way that we track revenue attribution here at Ad Shoppers by default is a last touch model. So this means that whichever Ad Shoppers campaign was the last one to influence an order before it happens gets credit for the revenue that that order has driven. So this can be a little bit problematic when we have multiple campaigns that might touch any given conversion before it happens. For example, with if we have two different behavioral targeting campaigns. So this week's feature is designed to fix that and help us more accurately track the revenue that any of our campaigns is driving. So let me go ahead and show you a quick example of how this might look in real life, and then I'll show you how this feature works inside of our dashboard. So one of the things that you may run with behavioral targeting is something like this top bar up at the top of the page. So something like this, you'll notice it's on every page. So if I go and I browse through to some furniture here, the top bar is going to follow me around. It's always going to be there. So this is a behavioral targeting campaign. However, we don't necessarily want to assign attribution to every single person that sees this, this campaign here because obviously everybody's seeing it. So that wouldn't give us an accurate picture of how much revenue is, is being driven by this one campaign with the top bar here. So this is an example of something where we would want to disable view attribution. And don't worry about the, the name just yet, because I'm going to show you what that means in the, in the, uh, the dashboard and the settings here. But just realize that this is an example of something we might want to disable revenue attribution for. On the other hand, campaigns that involve an actual user taking an action, such as in this example, where we're on the same site, but what happened was I was in my cart, and I abandoned my cart, and I got this abandonment modal triggered by behavioral targeting. So in this example, it's asking me to enter my email. So now this is a much more direct campaign that's more directly influencing the revenue that comes after completing this offer. So if I enter my email in here and apply the savings code, this is an action that we would definitely want to track back to revenue attribution. So we would want to tie, we would want to track the action and then we would want to track revenue back to this action because it's a, a much more direct uh, influence on the sale. So here's how this looks inside of our dashboard. So if I go back to the behavioral targeting settings, on any campaign on this first setting screen, there are two new options here. So you'll see this attribution tracking and then you'll see there's a checkbox for views and a checkbox for action. So the first toggle here for views, this is going to be disabled by default. And what this does is this tells ad shoppers whether or not we should attribute revenue to people that only take view actions. So if we think back to that last example where we had the, the top bar at the top of the site, we would, if this is checked, we'll track revenue when someone simply views that banner. If it's unchecked, we won't. The second toggle here is for tracking um, revenue attribution for action. So if this one is checked, then this means we'll track, we will track revenue from people actually taking an action. Or if we think back to that last example, this would be like me filling out my email address and applying that discount to my cart. So that would be an action. And if this box is checked, we will track revenue that happens post action. And this one is gonna be on by default. So that's basically it. 
This is a new setting that you'll see, like I mentioned here, inside of your behavioral targeting settings. And it's going to allow us to more accurately track revenue attribution through our platform and any different you know, campaigns that we have going for you guys with behavioral targeting. So hope that was interesting. And um, if you want to learn any more about our platform, don't hesitate to um, click on the Let's Talk button at the top of the page and you'll, uh, it'll allow you to set up a time to speak with our team. And other than that, thanks for watching and have a great day.